avoiding the complication of your family not knowing where to even start, that's a bigger problem. Well, I don't know if we're a large, small firm or a small, mid-sized firm, but I like the size of the firm. I like the looseness of it. I, I really like the culture. There aren't uh, too many rules, but at the same time, even though it's a large, small firm or a small, mid-sized firm, uh, you know, there's a lot of talent. There's a lot of brain power uh, in the firm, and we get things done and, and do things the right way. Well, I've been at the firm for 25 years, and when I joined the firm, we were 11 lawyers. And now we're just over 23, 24 lawyers. Um, but that's a nice natural growth. I think our firm has always found a niche in Atlanta that's underserved, which is, um, you know, there are plenty of Atlanta clients, Atlanta and Georgia based businesses that we can work with. Um, we're not so big a firm that we need to, um, that we, are too big for them where, where we offer tons of services that they don't need or bill at much higher rates. Um, at the same time, we're small enough to provide very personal service, which I think our clients really enjoy. Um, and so when I joined the firm, we were just 10 lawyers. Um, we've grown a little bit over time, added some practice areas, Bru like Bruce's practice area wasn't something we originally had. And when, um, when, some of the litigators and creditors rights lawyers came over that was just a natural fit for us as well so um, our firm is able to do 95 percent of what our client clients needs and when we can't do something you know we work very closely with uh, outside firms that we collaborate with a lot so this is another cautionary tale for everybody out there do not do not do not buy real estate or transfer real estate to an S corporation. Getting out of it is just going to be a nightmare and it's going to come at a tax cost. I've seen it happen way too many times and in fact it's happened or it's come to me twice in the past couple of months and I would say again do not. If you need to use a vehicle to hold real estate use a partnership. Use an LLC tax as a partnership or just an LLC. That's it. And you don't need to give copies of your documents to everybody, but if you tell them where they are or who they should ask or who they should go to, sharing that information is going to make things so much easier for the people mm -hmm. who do need to take care of things for you if you become incapacitated or if you should pass away. Having them have to figure out from the very start where everything mm -hmm. is, where the documents are, where the assets are, who the CPA is, who the financial advisor is. If you can share that information with your family ahead of time or with the people who need to know it, you can really make the process so much easier for them. Forget about avoiding probate, avoiding the complication of your family not knowing where to even start. That's a bigger problem. There's substantial fines. I mean, it's really, a, 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 they really want to encourage people to do it, but you know, so, somebody who owns a, you know, a small interest in an LLC that makes a couple hundred grand a year and isn't staying on top of it is going to get dinged because they didn't tell the government they own it. When they file taxes for it every year, it's bizarre. I mean, that's the thing about it, right? I don't know. So it feels like the government has other avenues to collect this information if they wanted to. Mm -hmm.